side on the side of the road. And Grandpa said, you have traveled far from caterpillar to butterfly. Thank you for showing us how to age in beauty with grace. together when Grandpa was too old to walk by himself. Grandfather and Granddaughter shuffle along, side by side, hand in hand, smile to smile. shouldn't get blamed for everything. Now you're, now you're blamed for everything now. What, now why is it, I wonder? Well, she had food for Grammy, and they blamed me, poor me, for taking her food and for trying to get her to eat her. That's awful. Oh, okay. Now, in the Rose Line, you probably played a bad guy also. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
this is my best role ever. It's up to a, well, whatever they call the little rewards that we Oscars? get. Yeah. yeah, well, maybe not an Oscar, but maybe a DATV or. Yes, I'm sure they have an award for the worst and best actors. Oh, worst and best actors, so you want to be the worst actor or best actor? <laughs> I think I can win them both, don't you? Oh, win them both? Why would you want to win both worst and best actor? Because I'm just, I've got to have it all. I've got to be the most famous thing in the world. I've got to be the wolf in every single movie. Boys and girls just expect that, I guess. I don't think they see what they see when they see me in a program, in a movie, because of me being so rotten. But they have to have someone to be just done away with. They can't have all those people who are good, bad, ugly, and everything else. They've got to have someone to get out of the show and be blamed for everything. <laughs> No, they wouldn't let me. They just, it didn't work. They tried a Disney movie. They tried so very, very hard in Three Little Pigs. And I just could not be good. That's all there was to it. So in other words, you, you always stuck playing the bad guy. Uh-uh. You know what? I think one of these days they should write a role for you as a good guy. Well, I don't know. I don't think they'll try. Like I said, The Three Little Pigs was a major catastrophe. They have such a, a budget, and I was making them go over budget because I tried so very, very <laughs> hard to be good and just couldn't. So now in The Three Little Pigs, now, what happened at the very end? Well, as usual, I get blamed for everything. And oh, did they go over budget because of all the houses I blew down? And for one thing, they shouldn't have had them have that nice house in the end. I should have just been able to eat them. Just a lammy poo boo in person. <laughs> now, what do you like to do in your spare time? In my spare time, oh, I like to sit and watch people walk and talk, and they just are so stupid. But what do you mean, people are stupid? Well, the ones that go through our forest, yes, they. There's, they complain because there's poison ivy. They complain because there's poison oak. They complain because there's poison berries. All they do is complain. They don't say the nice looking things. Oh, okay. Now, also, too, people sometimes litter in the woods, the great woods. Now, I know that's a problem, isn't it? Oh, yes. They, they come in with their little campfires and they eat their marshmallows and whatever else they put in with those little graham crackers and things that they eat, and then they throw the graham cracker boxes into the fire, and they don't burn, and so they just leave everything as is. And they go on their very merry way and drop their little cans here, there, and everywhere instead of thinking about taking a little backpack or something. Okay, now, you know what? Now, what's some of the safety uh, rules that boys and girls and their parents need to follow when they go camping? Always, always look for a trail. We, we as woods animals like to make trails for people. That's why I eat and eat and eat things all the way along the trail. And, and <laughs> as we have a good time in everywhere with all of the woods people, they, they have to look for a forest that has lots of trails so they will not get lost because if they get lost in my woods, <laughs> boy, are they in trouble.
No, and they should always go with their mom and dad or someone who knows where they're going and what they're there for instead of trying to go by themselves. Because That's right. They could be like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, yes. And I might not be quite so nice to strangers. <laughs> We're supposed to have every kind of disease there could possibly be, but we don't have a disease. We just have sharp teeth that leave nice big marks and you bleed forever. Yeah, just, and also to boys and girls should never go to a strange dog that they don't know. Oh, no. Because no. they have sharp teeth, too. Yes. Okay, me. you know what? You know what, um, Mr. Whoopi, you sound like a nice guy. I think you do have a bad reputation in movies. I think you're pretty good. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Peavy. I'm so glad to have talked to you and maybe changed everyone's mind about wolves and wolves like me in general. <laughs> okay, you know what, boys and girls, I think we're running out of time. And I want everybody to uh, watch the Rose Line on DATV when it comes on. And Mr. Whoopi's going to play a role in the Rose Line, a major role. Isn't that right, Mr. Whoopi? Oh, yes. It's fun. Bob Bob the Clown, I'm glad to see you. We're going to do some arts and crafts today. First, I, I am going to show you how to draw a face, a very simple way to draw a face. Now, if you can write numbers, letters, and geometrical shapes, you can draw a face. It's very simple. And I want you to look at my blackboard here, boys and girls, and we're going to start with the head. We're going to draw just a face this week, and next week, I'm going to show you how to draw a body. Now, what I'm going to do, boys and girls, is first of all, I am going to draw an oval shape. And all of you know what an oval shape looks like. It's sort of shaped like an egg, okay? So right now, I am going to draw an oval shape on the board. Like I said, shaped like an egg, okay? And then next, Remember I said that we're going to use uh, uh, numbers, letters to draw the face. So I'm going to uh, name the, fa uh, the letters and things that we're going to use. And then you can do this at home. All we need is a piece of paper, pencil, crayon, and to do this. Okay, first of all, we're drawing, we're drawing the oval shape. We drew the oval shape, boys and girls. Next, boys and girls, we're going to draw, and I'll love to start with eyes, okay? And eyes are more of an oval shape also. So we're going to draw, and I'm going to start with uh, the left eye. So I'm going to draw an oval shape, not quite in the center of the uh, oval shape. I'm going to sort of uh, have it more towards the top. Now be, be careful, boys and girls. Don't draw your eyes too close to the top because no one eyes is this close to their head. And that's not going to look right. So right now, you need to just come down almost to the center of the large oval shape. Now, next, on the other side, now if you have trouble spacing where you put the other oval shape, put your fingers down. Put about three fingers down, boys and girls, and you can draw the other eye oval shape. Okay, it's so like an oval shape. Uh, and then next, and I love to do this, and this is really easy, boys and girls. If you know how to make your numbers, you can draw a nose. And this is a very simple way to draw a nose. Now, first of all, I'm going to go back and we, you look at uh, your uh, parents or your brothers and sisters or your friends' face. You can tell the nose is in, towards the center of your face and almost in the middle. Okay, so right now, I'm going to draw the bridge of the nose. And this is going to be uh, a number one. We're going to draw it. Almost, almost, uh, we can probably have it that length, okay, no longer. You know, we don't want to have it all the way down here because, of course, your nose is not down there, boys and girls. So we're going to put the nose uh, about in this position, okay? Then we're going to draw another number one, which that adds up to what? What number is that, boys and girls? Eleven, exactly. So we have a number eleven. Next, 
I know all you out there, boys and girls, can, can write your letters. And you know what a big M and a little M looks like. Okay, of course, a big M, you know, the capital M looks like that. But I am interested in the small M. We're going to draw a small M. And believe it or not, boys and girls, we're going to use this M to make a nose. So, boys and girls, what we're going to do, we're going to touch the first uh, number one that we made. Remember, we made that number one, and we're going to make a M. We're going to make those two humps, boys and girls, and we're going to close it together. Now, don't worry. Now, right now, I see my M is sort of a little crooked, but don't worry about that, boys and girls, because that's why I want you to, to uh, usually I want you to draw with a pencil until you get used to doing this, because you can always erase with a pencil. But if you start with a crayon, that's okay, because sometimes it takes practice, okay? Now, we've got the nose. We've got a, uh, a number one, another number one, which adds up to 11, okay? Then remember, we have the oval shapes, okay, here, another oval shape here. Then we also started, first of all, with the large egg shape for the face. All right, next we're gonna draw the mouth. What I'm gonna do is show you how to draw a very simple mouth. This mouth is not gonna be smiling or sad. It's gonna just be just a normal, uh, neutral expression. Okay, so I call these my little hot dogs. Okay, you see the many hot dogs you can buy in the store that you eat? This is what my uh, mouth is gonna look like. Now I'm gonna start just in the middle of the eye, where the eye goes. Okay, I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna start my first hot dog, little mini hot dog, and I'm gonna start in with these uh, same, about approximately the same area in the center of the eye. The next, I'm gonna draw the top, that's the top lip. Boys and girls, we have two lips, okay? A top and a bottom, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the bottom lip, and the bottom lip will, you know, you guide where you drew the top lip. There you go. So he's sort of like a, he's not smiling or not laughing, but I'm gonna show you later on how to make him smile or how to make uh, our person to look sad, okay? Now, we have, uh, now we have the oval shape, remember boys and girls? We start with a big, large oval shape for the, uh, the head. Then we start two oval shapes for the eyes. Then we had the number one, which may uh, com combine a number 11. A small M for uh, the nose, the nostrils. And we start with a little hot dogs, mini hot dogs. Remember, we started almost probably in the center of our eye. We brought our fingers down to guide for the uh, beginning, and then over here we did the same thing, and then of course we did the bottom lip. This is like a mini hot dog, boys and girls. So, next, oh, there's something we're missing. We're missing something. Look at the face, boys and girls. What can you, can you see what we're missing? Yes, the eyeball. We don't have the eyeball. And now we can draw a circle. So we're gonna start in the center of our oval shape, and we're gonna draw a small circle for the eyeball, okay? So we're going to draw the small circle. But then we're going to go over here and draw another small circle. Try to draw it in the center for our other eyeball. We have two eyeballs. Okay. Then if you look in the center of your eye, you have a pupil. That's the hole in your eye. So we're going to put a dot here. Okay. Put that in the center, boys and girls. Okay. Just a dot and another dot here. Can you look at my face and see what else we need? Eyebrows. Okay, we need eyebrows, okay? So if you have trouble making eyebrows, think of your eyebrows as a, a, a end, an end. And we're gonna start here and we're gonna make an end. And we're gonna go over here and make another end, okay? Then we're gonna leave out, the, usually I know when you make an end, boys and girls, you put a little tail here, but we don't need to do that for this because we we're making the eyebrows, okay? Next, boys and girls, we need what? Ears. You can't see Baba Abba ears because she got her beautiful hair, you know. But we're going, and then very simple way to make ears is our letters, a C and a D, believe it or not. We're going to start on the left side, and we're going to probably start the top of our ear even with our eyes. So we're going to start right here, boys and girls, and we're going to make the letter C, which is connected to our head. And over here, let's go over here, boys and girls, let's follow our fingers over here where we did the, um, uh, the right eye, and we're gonna make the letter D. And I you know, want boys and girls to even trace on that line ahead, and then we're gonna make the letter D, because I know everyone out there can make the letter D, and those are our ears, okay. Now boys and girls, next what we're gonna do, 
we're going to make our neck, because I always wa want to show that our head is connected to our neck, okay? So what we can do is you can, and I, I want you to sort of kind of guide yourself uh, on almost to the edge of your eye and bring your fingers down about here to make your neck, the, right, uh, the left side of your neck. Then over here, you're going to do the same thing and draw the left side of your neck. It doesn't have to be that long. It doesn't have to be that long, boys and girls. You can, you can uh, kind of judge it. Don't make it too short or don't make it like this because, oh, he's got a, you know, that's not, you know, that's too long, boys and girls. And we also don't want it to make it too short. We don't want to do this because, of course, his neck is too short. So let's just bring it just down just to here. This is like a medium neck, not too long and not too short neck, okay? Next, boys and girls, we, like I said, we're only going to draw the face this time. Next week, we'll draw the rest of the body. But right now, I'm going to concentrate. I can make this out of a boy or a girl. Now, it depends on how I'm going to do the hair. First of all, I can show you how to draw curly hair. The next, I'm going to show you how to draw straight hair. Okay, first of all, uh, curly hair, an uh, easy way to do curly hair is to start making circles and continually making those circles and continue moving your fingers, moving your hands all around. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to start with a, cir you know, a circles, series of circles, and I'm just going to keep moving my hands all, you see that, boys and girls? All the way around until I get to the ear. And now, if I want to make this even, even thicker, you know, I can just continue on top of that and make it a little higher up. And you notice I'm making small circles. I'm just doing this, boys and girls. So that's all I'm doing. But I'm moving my hands. You see, I'm moving my hands. Okay? So I'm going to continue, boys and girls, to just go all the way around. And I've got curly hair. Curly hair. Okay? Next, if we want to draw straight hair, and I'm going to erase just the top of his head. Now, you don't have to do that because you can already decide what you're going to draw straight or curly hair. I'm just showing you two different ways how you can draw different types of hair. Okay, now right now, we can draw straight hair. We're going to draw straight hair. Let me see if I can erase this. Just a little more, boys and girls, to get this. Okay, boys and girls. Good job. Okay, now, so boys and girls, what we're going to do next is draw straight hair. And straight hair, you know, you just want to, for example, we can uh, maybe draw bangs here, okay? And maybe bangs over there, and that's, we can make it. And then you also, if you want to, you can draw lines, you know, showing the hair strands, okay, for straight hair. Now, we also, if you want to, we can turn this into a little girl. Now, if you want to draw uh, uh, a, a little girl with pigtails, okay, we can do it like that. And this is just drawing the hair, and we like that, okay? Or you, if you want to, you can draw braids. And this is very simple. Very simple. I'll show you a very simple way to draw braids also, boys and girls. Okay. So you can erase all of that, boys and girls. Okay. So right now, uh, if you want to draw braids, so you can just draw, let's draw some down like that. Okay. You draw it down. Okay. And then, to uh, mimic, you know, how the braids look, you can just do this, okay? Make X's, just X's like this. All I'm doing is connecting X's together, an X. Everybody can know how to uh, draw an X, okay? There you go, all the way down. There you go. There, and that's your uh, little girl with uh, bangs. Also, too, if you want to make change, change her bangs here, boys and girls, we can make her bangs like this. Okay, we'll draw lines to show the hair. And then there you go. There's your face, boys and girls. So right now, let's review this. Let's review what we did to draw a face, okay? First of all, we start with an oval shape, a shape that's similar to an egg. Then we started with, I like to start with the eyes. I don't know if you want to, but I think that's a good uh, point of reference to start with the eyes because you can measure the rest of the uh, parts of the face from the eyes. So let's start with an oval shape here. Then we drew another oval shape on the other side. And then to space, remember, I put three fingers in the center to space the eyes out because you don't want your eyes too close together. Now, if you have really small fingers, you may want to use four fingers if you have tiny fingers. But I have rather large hands, so I can just use three. So 
Next, we did the number 11. Okay, we connected the one to the, the corner of the eye here. Then we connect another uh, one here. Then also, boys and girls, we, we use the letter M, the letter N, M for the nostrils of the nose, okay? Next, what we did was we did the little mini hot dogs. Remember I love to say the little mini hot dogs that you buy in the store? And we made the top lip and the bottom lip, but also, too, to show where we're going to start the lip, we just took our fingers and we, we drew a line all the way, imaginary lines all the way down for the uh, edge of our lips here. And so we do the top. Make sure you draw the bottom lip, okay? And next time I'll show you how to make the, the mouth smile, okay? Next, we did the eyeballs. Remember, we did the eyeballs. And the eyeballs are just circles, small circles in the center. Then the pupil, of course, it's the dots. Okay, and then remember we did the ears, a letter C for the ears, uh, ears, the left ear, ears, and the letter D for the uh, right. And so what we're going to do is after that, I showed you how to make curly hair. No, ooh, for, forgot this, boys and girls, forgot this. We remember we did the end for our eyebrows just above the eyes. Remember we did that? And then also, too, I forgot the neck. So we just sort of kind of come the, uh, the edge of the eyes as a guide. It doesn't have to be exact, the edge of the eyes, you know, for the neck. So you have the neck wide enough. And remember, boys and girls, I said not to uh, make your neck too short or too long. Now, you can kind of look at that and see um, that it's not, you know, too short or too long. You can sort of practice. We're going to have to take practice to draw your face, to get your face uh, so, uh, you know, you'll kind of judge and kind of see. Now, remember we, I drew two types of hair, curly hair, which I said I started with just circles and I began to move, move, you know, and then straight hair, of course, you just, you know, the bangs, you know, so, you know, so right now, boys and girls, you can start drawing faces, okay? So right now, boys and girls, that is all we're going to do today. And also, too, when you, when you draw your face, of course, you want to color it, okay? So you can go ahead and use crayons. I would rather, I would suggest use crayons. Don't use markers because markers, you, you tend to color and you may color out your pencil lines so you won't be able to see your eyes and nose and mouth. So use crayons, okay? And another uh, way you can do this, if you don't see your pencil lines and get very, very faint, trace over your pencil lines with a black crayon, with a black crayon, then go back and color your face, okay? And then, then uh, you won't be, you'll be able to see your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your lips, okay? So, boys and girls, that's all we have for today. And next week, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to draw a body. So that's all we have today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Could you see uh, uh, Osir? <clears throat> Osir.